We got another one of those chain type quizzes that y'all love. Um, this one was made for me and Mike Corzemba by Die Hard Baller. So thank you so much, Die Hard Baller. I'm not sure if Corzemba has already done this before, um, but if he has, my apologies because I don't get around to watching every single video. But I love these chain ones. And this one is 74 questions. The last one we did was 34 questions. So this one would take longer. And because it's so many questions, it should be more difficult. Let's get into it. Click the NBA to start. That's an easy point right there. Was originally won by, okay, how am I supposed to know what team won the championship in 1948? How? Okay, let's look at the teams available. Celtics maybe because they're like one of the only teams that was probably around. I don't even know if they were around, but some tells me that the Celtics were. Um, Philadelphia Warriors. I'm gonna go Celtics and I, I got a 1%. 1%. Okay, try this again. Click the NBA to start. The NBA was originally won in 1948 by, I'm just going to go with the Philadelphia Warriors because those were my two options. And that's right. Who now have how many rings? I'm guessing this is, of course, including the Golden State Warriors who now have four. One less than, okay, I don't know if we're looking at for a player or a team, but let's see the options. Detroit doesn't have four. Houston doesn't have four. Golden State, well, Whoa, whoa, we're not actually looking for a team that has five because it says one less than five. Um, Tim Duncan has five, but I don't know if they want to go with the team. Let's go with the team, San Antonio Spurs. All right, that's right. Who won their first championship in 1999, which was the year that Blank won MVP? This is the year that Karl Malone won MVP. Uh, also, the year that Jordan retires. This is the first year without them having Jordan for the first time, or the second time. Jordan retired for the second time, first time. This is a Carmelo won this. Who retired in 2004 as he was trying to chase a ring in LA and just didn't really work out. The year who won the title, you know who did win the title, Detroit. Great story there. Who had how many first NBA, all, all, first team all NBA selections? Zero. That's one of the big things about that team. They had like no superstars. I know Ben, I know ben Wallace. I'm not sure if he's already in the Hall of Fame, but he will end up in the Hall of Fame. Actually, I don't think he is, but hopefully he will. He, he's not a first ballot Hall of Famer, but hopefully he'll get there one day. But they didn't have any, like, superstars, and they won a championship. It was, like, unheard of. Which is how many rings that star small forward blank has. Okay, so we're thinking about zero. Which players here have zero? Allen Iverson does, but they said small forward. Allen Iverson's definitely not a small forward. Ben Simmons, I, they said star. Ben Simmons is not a star. Not yet, at least. Maybe he will be. Kevin Durant has zero. Boom who joined the Golden State Warriors, who had a record of 73 and nine, which broke whose record? Of course, my Chicago Bulls, who had how many wins? 72, which was a season who won the championship. So 1972, no way I know this, but let's look at what we got. The late 60s, early 70s, they were dominated by the Lakers. There were a couple years in between there that they did not win a championship, but the odds are it, it was the Lakers, so boom, and it's right. And who was the finals MVP? I'm guessing it was Wilt the Stilt. Uh, who's had how many rings? He's just had two rings. One with LA and then one in Philly, right? Just like the... Okay. Just like David... No, 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 no. Not David Robinson. Hakeem Elijah one has two rings. Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's think about it. Just like the, they're not going to say just like the Hakeem Elijah one. So we're looking for a team here. In that case, it's the Houston Rockets. They got two um, who are led by, oh, Hakeem Elijah one, who has two, who were the number 34, just like Lakers ex superstar, of course, Shaquille O'Neal, Big Diesel, who was drafted in 19, definitely not 95. It had to be 92 by process elimination. Definitely not 2001, 2003. So 1992 by the Orlando Magic, who was second in scoring for that team in the 2016 season. Okay, who here played for the Magic in 2016? That's the only thing we got to find out. And Victor Oladipo is the only name, so Victor Oladipo is the answer. And is now on the OKC Thunder, on the same team as a player who averaging a triple-double, which is official. He's It's done. He's averaging a triple-double. He still needs one more, as I'm recording this video, one more triple-double to be um, Oscar Robinson. He didn't get it tonight against Phoenix, but I'm sure he'll get it. Three games left. But that's Russell Westbrook. There's one more L in that baller. Who went to what college? UCLA. 
just like the 1969 first pick that is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Just like I'm sure y'all know, these are the same person. Hakeem um, Abdul-Jabbar, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm talking too fast. Uh, he changed his name to Kareem, but this was what he was when he got drafted. Great. Who changed his name? Okay, to Kareem, which was his name when he won how many championships with the Lakers? Oh, they trying to stump me here. Okay. I'm pretty sure he has six total, like six championships. But he did win one in Milwaukee. Right before, or right after he won in Milwaukee, he went to LA. So if they're saying with the Lakers, then that means he has five of them. Right. Which was the pick that was used to, oh, who was selected in 2008? That was Kevin Love. I wrote a whole paper about that 2008. Uh, NBA draft recently, so I know about the 2008 draft. Boom, who was drafted by? Oh my God, he was drafted by Memphis, and then he was traded to Minnesota. Oh my God, is that wrong? I gotta Google that. I'm pretty sure that's right because I remember writing that in my paper. So yeah, I was right. Kevin Love, fifth overall pick, obviously drafted by the Memphis Grizzlies, but he was traded to. Minnesota for OJ Mayo and some other pieces, but I know that's right. Maybe he didn't really catch that. So we're going to go back. We were 31 questions in. I'll just cut back to when we're at question number 32. Okay, so here we are back at it. Um, who was drafted by Minnesota? Okay, he got a little switched up, but the pick was traded to them from who? Okay, I guess it's Memphis. I think that's what he means. It's kind of inaccurate, but I see I see what he means. It's fine, though. We're, we're back at it who used to be in what city vancouver but moved when 2001 explosion of the nba um in the year that lakers won the championship with what playoff record one of the best playoff runs in nba history they went the entire playoffs to win it just losing just one game in the finals like they first round they swept 3-0 because this was before it was four games um second round 4-0 eastern conference final west conference finals 4-0 and then um championship 4-1 and against philly al niverson did that to him and we only lo one loss was okay to, to philly in game one and al niverson dropped 48 but was okay al niverson was traded to oh okay um i'm pretty sure he was traded to denver process elimination what other teams are available i know he didn't play for the Celtics. he didn't play for cleveland only team available here that he played for is denver right in what year? Oh, my God. As he's process elimination again. 2003, he was still rocking with Philly. 2006 has to be the year he was traded. Because 2000, by 2014, he was no longer in the league. Um, so, boom. Which is a year. Who won the title in 2006? That was the uh, Miami Heat team. The first Miami Heat team to win a championship with Shaq and Wade. Finals MVP, Dwayne Wade. Where your name at, buddy? Who was drafted in what year? 2003. One of the greatest draft classes of all time. The same year that Cleveland Cavaliers drafted... LeBron James, who wore number 23, just like this NBA legend, everybody wanted to be like Mike, and Jordan was no exception, Michael Jordan, who has how many rings, six for six in the finals, and went to North Carolina, just like, okay, who here, Wiggins went to Kansas, uh, Ben Simmons went to LSU, Bryce Gallabrini is somewhat irrelevant, all right, don't come at me for that, that was a joke, he's not irrelevant, um, Tim Duncan, Wake Forest, Pete Maravich, LSU, Vince Cardo went to uh, North Carolina. Boom. Who was drafted by the Toronto Raptors, who were formed in, oh, I do not know, but again, process elimination. Take this like a test, boys. Uh, they weren't formed in 2014, because by that time, they were contenders in the East. So it's got to be 1995. The year who won MVP? Good question. Well... Look at the process. Who here played in 1995? David Robinson. Wiggins did it. Tim Duncan did it. David Robinson. Who won his last championship in the year? Who won MVP? Process elimination. Got to say Tim Duncan. That was 2003? 2003? Yes. Um, who won his latest championship in 2014? That was uh, Timmy's last ring. The same year, who was drafted first in 2014 that was wiggy by 
the Cleveland Cavaliers, who traded him away to form the big three that won the championship in 2016. We will never forget the year families came back from the 3-1. That's why we will never forget the 3-1. The Sammy and the Philadelphia 76ers drafted first Ben Simmons from LSU, just like P. Maravich. It's all coming full circle. We got a couple more to go. Who were the number? Okay. In college, Pete Maravich wore 23. He came to the league, he wore the number 7, and he also wore the number four, uh, 44. So what do they want from me? What number did he wear first? I think he wore 7 first, so maybe they want me to go with that. This is a moment of truth, because if I get this wrong, I'm not going again. You know how long it takes to go back? 62 questions? I'm going to close my eyes and go 7. Thank God. The same amount of rings... That who has? Good question. It's between Frank Ramsey, who played for the Celtics, and John Havlicek, who also played for the Celtics during eras where they were just destroying things. Frank? Yes. Okay. Who played for the Celtics, who have how many wins? Obviously, 17. The number of another Celtics legend. Oh, my God. Did John Havlicek wear 17? Yes. Okay. The Celtics... Also had the GOAT in his prime, the white mom of Brian Scalabrini, who averaged how many points for the Celtics? Three? Please don't tell me he averaged one point. Thank God. And also wore jersey number 44, just like guessing Jerry West, who is only losing... Who's... Who is the only losing finals MVP? Okay, I had to think about what F MVP means, but that's the finals. So he was in the finals. He won MVP even though his team did not win a championship. And has how many rings? Just one. And is a logo for which professional sport? The freaking NBA. Maybe not for long, though. He said he don't want to be the logo no more. That just happened today, actually. How, how um, much of a coincidence. The average scores are 12%. I got 100. Even though I, I guess it took three tries technically because we got the first one wrong. The, literally these second question wrong. And then the one with Kevin Love, which I don't know if I would have chalked that up as an L for myself or an L for the dude that created it. But I'm sure these take a, a long time to make. So thank you again to Die Hard Bowler for creating this for me and Mike Rosemba. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you done on your first try because there is a 12% 12, 12 chance that you would get 100% on the first drop. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been the king of the fourth quarter. I'll holla at y'all tomorrow.